fucking forced ketosis 101. Because people still don't fucking get this. Let's begin. So we're gonna dumb it the fuck down as usual. So you just ate your last meal. That's when the fasting fucking starts. When the last piece of fucking calories or food or anything goes in your fucking trap. So we got zero hours. We got 48 hours. We got 96 hours. So your fast starts at zero hours, okay? So you start fasting right now. You just ate, let's say. You fast right now. The first stage of your fast is your glycogen depletion stage, your liver glycogen depletion stage, okay? Your liver glycogen levels are the only thing that dictates if you are fucking in fat burning mode, in ketosis, in body fat burning mode. Now, from my experience, we're fasting to force the ketosis. It takes a maximum of 48 fucking hours for your little fucking ketone strip to fucking go from nothing to color. That's what we care about. We don't care about fucking blood ketone ripoff meters that cost $80 for fucking 10 strips that show the exact level of fucking beta hydroxybutyrate in your blood. We just care about nothing to something. That's all we need to know. That means you're in ketosis on those strips. That's it. That's all you need to know. If you went from nothing to showing color, you're in fucking ketosis. So that means that our liver glycogen is depleted. Our livers hold about, say, 100 grams of glycogen. Okay? That's it. 100 fucking grams. Usually you'd be depleted in about 24 hours. Some people have slower metabolisms. That's why I go with 48. Now, if you're a fucking diabetic and you don't even know it, it can take as much as 96 fucking hours, okay? It can take a long time because your blood sugar is so fucking high, because your liver is so fucked up, and your body's so fucked up, that it takes like extra days to clear the blood sugar because your body's gonna suck the blood sugar down before it can start depleting the blood sugar from the liver. So it takes longer. But normally 48 hours max, okay? That is it. Now, once your strips show color, so let's say they flip it. Let's say you check your fucking ketones on a blood strip or on a fucking piss strip at like 48 hours exact. If that fucking strip is showing color, that means that you are breaking down your fat fucking gut for energy, okay? And you will keep breaking down your fat fucking gut until you put the brakes on the ketosis. And there's only one fucking way to do that. You have to fucking eat carbohydrates again because the fucking liver glycogen is the deciding factor of ketosis. So if you eat a bunch of gummy bears, you're going to kick yourself out of ketosis. Plus, you got to burn the calories of the gummy bears. Now, this is where fucking people don't fucking get it. If I ate a bunch of coconut oil, no sugar at all, yeah, I'm going to stay in ketosis but who fucking cares? Because now I gotta burn the calories from that fucking coconut oil before my body starts burning body fat again. It's not as bad as the gummy bears because the gummy bears I gotta chew up all the calories plus the fucking glycogen in the liver before I get back into ketosis. But still, with the coconut oil, if I'm overeating on fucking goddamn fats, yeah, my strips will show color. My little blood tone, my little blood ketone meter will still show that I'm in fucking ketosis, but I'm burning fucking goddamn exogenous fat. Means fat from the outside. I'm not burning the fucking gut. That's why we're fucking here. We're trying to get rid of your fucking fat fucking gut. Okay? This is why these me mainstream ketogenic people, they don't know fucking shit about fucking ketosis compared to somebody that fucking prolong fast like me. Okay? This is like siphoning gasoline. Once you fucking get through that threshold where you drain your glycogen with fasting forced ketosis and we're not eating anything, your body is going to burn fucking fat until you fucking put the brakes on fucking a week, two weeks, a month if you fast that long without eating, okay? So right now, I'm about 72 hours fasted, okay? I got a little bit of piss here. I'm going to show you how this fucking works. I was probably in ketosis at about 24 hours. I didn't even check because I don't care because I know that I'm not eating. 
So I know that ketosis is going to occur soon enough. It doesn't matter to me. But I'm about 72 hours fasted now. And this one's piss. Okay, so I'll dip it in the piss. And here's the colors on the bottle. And see my strip? So see the colors? Look at my fucking strip. Burning fat like fucking crazy. Okay? Now I don't need to test it again. Why? Why wouldn't I need to test it again? I don't need to fucking test it again because I'm going to be fasting for six more fucking days. And like I said, the only way I'm going to kick myself out is if I eat something that's full of sugar. Okay? And the only way I'll stop my body fat from burning is if I eat something full of sugar plus eat anything, including fat. Okay? Including your fucking avocado. Including your fucking bacon. Okay? I'm not burning body fat when I'm eating. You're not burning body fat when you're eating food. I don't give a fuck if it's fucking low carb. This is the ketogenic body fat fucking diet. And that's it. I'll be fucking showing dark as fuck on those strips till I break my fucking fast in six days and I'm fucking ripped. That's it. It's that fucking simple. Okay? Do you get this? Do you get this? Glycogen in the liver. That's the fucking thing. We're fasting the glycogen out. Then we're forcing our body to break down fat because it has to because it's the only thing it can get its hands on. And we burn body fat like crazy. Okay? The reason these mainstream ketogenic fuckheads that keep bringing up their fucking blood ketone meter are so adamant is because they're not in deep fucking ketosis like a fucking faster like me. So they're worried about kicking themselves out by eating like fucking one fucking gram of carb. Okay, they're always worried. Okay, when you fucking fast, you don't need to worry about that. Because you're fasting so long. And then once you're lean, you don't even give a fuck about ketosis anyway, unless you have some sort of specific goal. Okay, once you're lean, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, that's where they fuck up. And then they're blowing this. So these fucking blood ketone meters that measure beta hydroxybutyrate are a fucking scam. They're a ripoff. 10 fucking strips are 80 bucks and the meter's 30. Those fucking strips are 7 bucks. You don't need anything else. It's an on or off situation. I don't need to know the exact fucking blood ketone levels. I just know that it's always on. You're siphoning the gas out of the gas tank, okay? You start sucking on that fucking goddamn hose and you're siphoning buddy's fucking gas out of his car because you're broke. His fucking gas tank will drain until it's fucking empty. That's what happens here. Okay, when we're in forced ketosis, our body fat is draining like that guy's tank of gas until it's fucking empty or unless you fucking put the fucking fat burn on pause by eating. That's it. Okay? Hope everyone understands this. Fuck, I get questions on this all the time. So everyone have a great night. Fuck to just worry about the fucking strips. Don't waste money on a fucking blood ketone meter. Don't fucking eat fast as long as you can because you're burning nothing but body fat. Okay? Don't worry about the fucking color of the strips swinging either. Trust the fucking process. If you're not eating food, you're burning body fat, okay? There's no calories in air. Get that fat in you!